Hey, how you doing tonight, Kirk? Hi, I'm doing great. My name's Kurt, and I voted for the PCs. Yeah. And I think like most Albertans. And, uh, well, bitterly disappointed in the election. And again, you know, sure gets more votes. He's got the kind of the, the common people with him. Yeah, he did get the, the most votes, didn't he? The majority of yep. the votes, but he didn't get the, you know, election results. Right. All open. Just not enough seats. Yeah. And so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. <laughs> It's well, going to be very interesting. Thing, but I can't ever see the Conservatives joining the NDP and the Green or the Bloc. And right, like and, and you know, like, will the NDP want to join the Conservatives and so on, right? Right. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. They're, they're talking on the news before I headed out the door that uh, this might be the shortest, coal, or uh, not coalition, but the shortest minority government in history. Well, they're predicting, eh? Well, let's hope so. Like, uh, like when one of... Uh, Shear's platforms was to get in and to have a full accountability of uh, accountability mm -hmm. of uh, the uh, Lavalin affair. Mm. You know, I, I, you know, I right. think we all know that there's something well, some transparency would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be. Right? You know, you know and I'm not asking for like mountains out of molehills. You know, <laughs> yeah. just some transparency would be great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate well, that. Well, you take care, and thanks for going around the city yeah. carrying the flag. I, you know, I yeah, proud Canadian that. here. I'm so proud Canadian, <laughs> but what do you do? Right. Yeah, let's do the what we can, right? Yep. Well, you take care. Here's something really neat. Cenotaph, the soldier facing east. Or sorry, from west to east, looking home. I'll take a picture of that plaque in a minute there. Let me just get over this way. And you can see where he's lit up. Have a moment of silence. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. The poppies grow in Flanders fields. So this building back here. That's the original Central Middle School. There's a newer building further back and then this all nice lit up area here was Celebration Plaza when we had Canada Winter Games or the 2019 Canada Games. I'm not sure exactly what it was called. In the end there was more than just Winter Games though. We had badminton and swimming. But uh, yeah, this is Celebration Plaza. They actually had this whole area, the street and everything, blocked off as well for however long the games run. I was hoping to talk to some of the less fortunate because well you can tell a lot about a city by how they treat those who have nothing, how they treat the poor, how they treat the homeless and uh, the homeless here, the less fortunate, the junkies that I'm running into, they're scared. They don't want to approach me or they're scared to talk or they don't want to be seen on video. They've been so, at least this is my thought, They've been so easily discarded. They feel like they don't have a voice anyway. That's just what I think. But they're just scared. And that's not right. One of the many shut down abandoned businesses. This used to be a co-op shopping center, grocery store talking to a security guy here taking care of the site at night. Says so much crime, not enough sales to counter the crime. And this very place, I've done undercover security here. It's bad. It's pretty quiet over here. This is our bus terminal. Daytime, that's busy with buses every half hour, but they only run from 6.30 to 23.30. A little bit quiet, that's for sure. <laughs> a few less buses than usual. And then a, a parkade built above it. Oh, and here's City Hall Park. Just a bunch of cold dead plants right now. Summertime, it's got lots of nice plants. 
in the winter time it's got lots of nice Christmas lights. Gang, gang, Tell me, yo! Without swearing or anything like that, tell me what you think about the Liberals. Well, like, honestly, it's like conservatives over here, yeah. yo. Like, honestly. Like, we had four years of the Liberals, now they're elected again. Do you think things are going to get better? Uh, like, I mean, like, it might get 50-50, but like, mm, I don't know, bro. Now, one thing is interesting. The conservatives got a lot of votes, the Liberals got a lot of votes, but neither got enough for a majority. It's going to be weird, right? <laughs> you know what they're saying on the news. I feel they're that, saying bro. this could be the shortest coalition or like, um, minority government, right? In, yeah, in history. Yeah, I who knows, feel right? Like, we'll see. It could be 50 50, right. though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, I feel that. have a good night, man. Yeah, man, you too, man. Here's the not so beautiful side of the city just a bunch of polluted ground, too hazardous or polluted or whatever to build on. Someone's gonna have to pay a lot of money to truck all that dirt away and clean it up and remediate it. So it's just a fenced in property right downtown. It's really not beautiful. It's my city. So, got an old train bridge from when CP Rail used to go through the city. It's been a walking path for a number of years. I uh, stopped a guy a few years ago from jumping off of it, so it's pretty cool to save a life. He wasn't doing too good though. He was pretty disturbed, had a big knife, tried to stab me when he came over, then went running off. It was pretty, pretty messed up, but it makes you feel good when you can save a life. You guys ever see those videos where they talk to you throughout the video and they're like, comment down below if we should explore this. So why don't we do one of those stupid things? Comment down below if I should walk across the shady bridge to the shady part of the city. Like we're talking the bad part of the city. And it's actually like the, the barrier, the boundary between <laughs> North Red Year and downtown. Okay, good. Everybody commented to go this way. Let's do it. Well, friends, we got Taylor Drive to the west. we we'll come this way. And Gates Avenue, southbound. And then just past that is another bridge for 49th Avenue, northbound. It's the main through fares through the city. Check out that river. Sounds really cool. I don't know if you guys can hear it or see it, but it's really nice. Well, aside from things like shopping carts and that in the water. Oh, darn. There's a skunk over there. I'm trying to get the skunk in the shot. Well, no skunk. Well, there's some trees over here. Comment down below if I should go in those trees. Oh, okay. Let's do it. So these steps here, they go up from Riverside Meadows to Highland Green. And this is the edge of my, well, 113 years ago, when my great grandpa settled there, that was the edge of his land. One of the, the boundaries, this would be the south boundary here. Sometimes when I take some pictures, I'll be right at the very top of that hill, looking this way towards the 7-Eleven and the, the fast gas here. You guys might recognize some of those from a YouTube page when you click on the page, the banner at the top. Got ourselves a deer. Seems to be alone. Just gonna walk by slowly. Try not to spook it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 